Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Janome 634D. In the, on this video, we're going to do the rolled hem, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if, to start with, we want to take out the left-hand needle, and I've already done that. Once you take out the left-hand needle, or either needle, if you take a needle out, make sure you tighten the set screw. Uh, a loose set screw can vibrate loose and get lost. You don't want that happening. So make sure you tighten that down. And then when you put your needle back in, make sure to loosen it too so you can get the needle all the way up into the, uh, the needle socket. Now, there are three settings that you will need to do on your machine in order for it to do a rolled hemp. To start with, we want stitch length. There, right there for R for rolled hem. Now your rolled hem is going to look like this, where it has rolled the edge of the fabric and sealed that edge. It makes a nice, neat finish for like napkins or ruffles or things like that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is move this switch from standard to rolled hem, RH for rolled hem. Then we're gonna take off the little bucket there, open the door. And next we need to move this switch to R for rolled hemp, so from surging to rolled hemp. In order to do that, we need to disengage the upper knife, and we've already done that, but we disengage the upper knife this way, and then by pushing this in, this makes the lower knife move out of the way. So watch what happens right here to that stitch finger when I move this back. See how that moves that stitch finger out of the way? But you need to have the lower knife out of the way or else it's not gonna move. So push this in, it's on a spring. Pull that back, let it back up. And then remember to re-engage your upper knife. You're gonna get the nicest, smoothest edge on your rolled hem if you use your, engage your blades. Um, and cut off maybe a quarter of an inch of fabric. So I'm thinking like if you're making a scarf or something, make sure you cut that off so you don't have any rough edges. Okay, so we've done the three things. We've shortened the stitch length. We've put this here, and what this does is it helps change the tension so you don't have to change the tension on these uh, dials here. And then we've moved the stitch finger out of the way. Okay. So I've already done a little bit of rolled hem on this sample. Now, because it's such a short stitch length, you wanna hang on to this tail just gently until it's made several stitches into the fabric. The reason for that is the short stitch length is gonna cause that thread tail to be real small and, and tight and curly. And you don't want that curl, that tail to curl back up and get caught in your stitches. So just hang on to it like this as you get going. And once you've made several stitches, and I'm just holding it gently, I'm not pulling on it, just to kind of keep it taut. Once you've made several stitches, let go and just watch right here so that you cut off a consistent distance of fabric. When you're first learning how to do this, don't go jackrabbit fast. Take your time. That way you can get your steering down, you can make sure everything's working great. A finely rolled hem is worth being patient to do. Once you're really good at it and you've got yards and yards of rolled hem to do, go for it. But to begin with, this is like learning to drive a car. Take your time, be patient with yourself. Now, I've already done a rolled hem on this edge. For this here, in order to get this to not fray, you wanna put a little fray check on there, just right across that corner, let it dry, and then trim that off. The fray check makes the thread and the fabric all one so it doesn't fray later on. And so that makes a really nice rolled hem, no raw edge showing. You can use the same color of thread as fabric if you wanna do that or you can use a contrast like this. Now I've also used maxi lock stretch. So I'm using maxi lock thread, just standard thread, but the maxi lock stretch, see how it's kind of got some more loft to it? That's what I used over here. And see how that fills that in really nicely? So the maxi lock stretch is a way to get 
almost like a piping look. And if I had all three colors of thread the same color, and you can get this exact same color in a standard thread. In fact, that's what I think I have over here. That will give almost a piping look to the edge of your fabric. So when you put it back into standard serging, it's kind of a reverse of everything else. You, you change your stitch length back to where it is, put this back to standard, make sure you move your little bold hem lever that way, disengaging both knives so it's out of the way to do that. So that is your rolled hem. If this was a helpful video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the little area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.